Hi there, this is Dana Diorsi with Stella and Dot, and I wanted to record this quick little video to share a little bit with you about my journey with the company and my experience as a Stella and Dot stylist, because I have a sneaking suspicion that there may be some of you out there who have been watching what I'm doing over the past several months and are intrigued by it and maybe slightly curious and want to learn more, but not quite ready to reach out and ask me questions, so I thought I'd just kind of put it out there in a video so it's very non-committal. You can kind of watch the video and learn some more information. And if you want to learn more after that, you can. And if not, no big deal. So I'm just going to put it all out there. So basically, I have been with Stella and Dot for the last nine months as a stylist. And if you had told me a year ago that I would be doing what I'm doing now, I would have told you that you are completely crazy pants because I just did not see myself doing this. And I had loved the product for years. I had been buying um, probably for like four years. I first found them through a fashion blog, and I liked this pair of earrings, so I looked up the website. I bought online. And then um, I happened to be at a networking event, I think about three and a half years ago, and there was a woman there selling Stella, selling Stella and Dot. Her name was Kendra. And she was just absolutely fantastic, and I just loved her, and I decided I wanted to buy all of my Stella and Dot from her. So I purchased from her that night. We arranged a party. Um, I set her up with my friends. They did parties. Um, I continued to purchase from her, um, and we just kind of maintained a relationship. And over that period of time, probably for about probably about two years, she had, you know, two years before I joined, she had mentioned to me, she said, you know, I think this might be something that you would have fun doing and that, you know, you might be really good at. And I said, I was flattered that she said that, but I was like, oh my God, like, no, I'm totally like, thank you. But no, I'm, it's not really something I'm interested in. At the time I was starting my own business. And so I was really just immersed in that. and I had a lot going on. So it just really wasn't the right timing. And she would reach out, you know, every few months, um, you know, not in a pushy manner at all, but just kind of, hey, I just want to check back in with you. You know, is it something that you'd be interested in? And I kept saying no. And I am so forever grateful for her persistence that she continued to reach out to me because then one day she did reach out to me and they were having this great sign up special that month. And I thought, I don't know, I just kind of took a step back and I looked at the numbers of the situation and I looked at where my business was at. And I don't know, it just all clicked. I felt like, okay, this is the right time. I might want to do this. And when I signed on, I was very clear. I was like, I really, mostly I was doing it to be totally candid with you for the free jewelry. So I really, I loved buying it anyway. So I was like, okay, well, when you sign on, you get all this amount in jewelry. So I would be buying it anyway. So I get it for free. And then, you know, I kind of was like, okay, well maybe, you know, the way it was described to me, like maybe I could do it you know, maybe have a party a month, you know, with my friends and family to sell to them. And then I could earn my way to having, you know, maybe a new style fix every season when the new line comes out. Um, they have these opportunities where you can get, you know, $500 worth of jewelry. So it's like, great, like I'll refresh my jewelry wardrobe. It'll be like totally a small time commitment. I'll just do like one show a month and, you know, I'll try, I'll kind of try it out. It was kind of a no brainer. Really when I did the numbers, there was no risk to signing on. So I said, okay, I'll just try it out. And Obviously, like I got into it and I just completely, I did like my first couple of trunk shows and I just, I completely fell in love with it. I love what I do. And I just, I fell in love with the company in general. Um, but, but one of the things I like to point out is that I love that it really can be whatever you want it to be. So for example, like when I started out, I was really just doing it for the free jewelry and that's totally cool. Like you can do that if you really love the pieces. It just makes sense to get them that way with a discount and with your sign-up kit and then sell a little bit on the go to friends and family. And you can basically earn your jewelry for free. Um, so, you know, you can do that. You, maybe you're someone who, it, you know, has maybe like, you know, three to five hours a week that you could invest into, you know, building this business. And you just want to do maybe a couple of trunk shows a month, maybe two or three, um, and you're looking to maybe pay off some credit card debt, or maybe you're saving up for home improvement or to, for a down payment on a house, or you want to put your kids in private school. So there, you know, there's something that you're saving for. You just maybe want some guilt-free shopping money every month that your husband has no say in because it's your money <laughs> and it's on the side. So, you know, maybe that's you. And so there's that opportunity. And then there's people who want to jump into this and really build an empire. And they can do that as well. Like the sky is the limit. There's no ceiling on your income based on how much you work and the team that you build and all of that. So I just love that it can really be whatever you want it to be. Um, so that really appealed to me. And I just want 
to share like some of the other things that I've really loved about the company. And then I'll also share like what my reservations were and kind of what I found to be true. So um, I found that like when I was running my own business, and I still have that business, I still have clients there, um, but I've taken that down and the amount of time that I invest in it. Um, I found, you know, I started the business because I had been in corporate and I was extremely frustrated that there were not a lot of opportunities for for flexibility with women in the workplace um, because I had, you know, I had young kids. I really, you know, my heart really wanted to be with them, but we need, you know, we needed the income and I, you know, I was frustrated that there wasn't a way that I could work part time and still do the work that I did or, you know, have some flex options. And that just wasn't available. Um, you know, those opportunities are few and far between. And so I ended up deciding to leave and start my own business. And so I had a coaching, I still do, I have a coaching business. Um, it started out as life coaching business and it moved into business coaching for women entrepreneurs. Um, and I love that work. Like I love doing that. Um, but it is complex to own your own business. I mean, you are running every part of the business, just you, all yourself. Um, and it is also expensive to run a business. There's a lot of expenses, your website, um, just lots of fees, your business lawyer, um, networking group fees, just t training. I spent a lot in training and coaching, um, you know, learning the marketing techniques I used. Um, and then, you know, I did get to a point where I had an assistant who was doing things for me, but it was a lot of expense. So I was making money, but I was spending a lot of money too. Uh, and I, you know, I, I started the business to have more of that freedom and flexibility. And I had flexibility, but I was working a crazy ton of hours to get everything done and to grow. Um, so while I wanted that freedom and flexibility, I felt like I was losing a little piece of that. And um, I just wanted to explore this. I kind of looked at the option and I just wanted to explore what it was like. And what I love about it is that it is super simple and super fun. So you know, being a part of this business is is not rocket science, right? Like there's a formula. You get like the most amazing training systems, tools, words, copy and paste words to say, um, coaching from your mentor. It's it just like you're totally set up to succeed with everything you need. Um, and, you know, when there's a website problem, it's not your problem to handle. It's like the company has to handle that, which is really nice. Um, and, you know, they you're not shipping things out to people. The company is distributing it all for you. So it's really simple. There's just like a few skills to develop. And it really doesn't take a long time to develop those, like with the training. It's within a month, like you have all the skills that you need to succeed in this business. And so I loved the simplicity of it. And, you know, and like there's no jewelry emergencies, right? Like nobody's freaking out about their jewelry. So, you know, the worst thing that happens is someone needs a refund, I mean, a, a, an exchange or they want to return something or has a question, but there's no like real high stress emergencies, which is really nice. Um, so the simplicity of it was great. And it's just, it was super fun. Like when I did my first few parties, I was like, I could not believe that I was literally being paid to go to a party, play with jewelry and try it on people and drink some wine, like that I would do those things, I would have a blast, and then I would come home and I would have made money. Like that is just crazy pants to me. <laughs> um, so just so fun. And one of the other things that's really great is really the community of people. So I just, I feel like I have found my tribe with this group. I've, I've just been, it's the most supportive, positive community of people that I have ever been around. Um, and that makes a big difference. Like as an entrepreneur, when you're running your own business, you're by yourself. And it's so nice to have this team around you. It's not like a team like where it's like a boss or something, but it's a team around you to support you and to bounce ideas off of. And if you're having a bad day, they lift you up and you're sharing ideas. And it's, it's really a great energy about it. Um, so that has been great. And I really love, um, you know, the biggest part of it for me is, is that flexibility with my family. And I love that this is the kind of business where I basically pencil into my calendar, all of the things that are important to my family and all of the, all of our commitments and lessons and sports and field trips and all of that, that goes in first. And then I build in my trunk shows or what I'm doing with Stella and Dot around those things, which is the reverse of the way my life looked when I was in corporate. Um, and so I love being able to do that um, and be there 
for really the important moments in my kids' lives because they're only young ones. And for me, it's just, it's really important. So that has been really great for me. And and then the other thing too to mention, because I was saying that with like having my own business, it's just, it's been so profitable for me. So there isn't a lot of expense that goes into the business. Um, and you know, outside of maybe like some thank you cards and, um, postage to send those or postage to send some catalogs out, but it's really not a high expense kind of thing. And if you work the business right, um, you know, in terms of purchasing your samples, I've been flat. So I've never really had to, I get a lot of free product credit and I do sample sales and sample off some of my retired pieces. And I get into that when people sign on my team and explain it to them. But I really, I don't have to spend money on my samples or jewelry. So I really, it's been very highly profitable for me, um, which um, has been really nice. Um, so, and then the last thing I'll just say is that I really love that the mission of Stella and Dot is really so in alignment with what where my heart was in my other business and providing those flexible entrepreneurship opportunities for women. Because again, like I said, I was so frustrated that there were none of those things in corporate. And this really provides people with that opportunity to build whatever they want, however they want it, but the sky is the limit with what they want to do. Um, and so that's been really cool. So what were some of my big objections or concerns when I signed on? So the first one... Um, was I had a lot of preconceived notions about the direct sales industry. And I did not want to be one of those like pushy people that like was like turning my friends off and like, like just harassing them. You know, I think we've all been to like networking groups or something. You might've met someone like that. And so I didn't want to be like that person. Um, and I have found, I mean, it's really like, so not like that. I feel like if you really are with a company where you believe in your product and you just, you love, I mean, I love this product and I love the company. And so when I share, um, the opportunity to host a trunk show, or when I share the opportunity to be a part of my team, like, I feel like I'm offering someone a gift. Like that is, I'm not asking them to do me a favor. Like I'm offering them a gift. And it's really kind of like if you went to a movie that you really liked or a restaurant that you really liked, you would, you would share it with your friends. You would post it on Facebook. Like, Hey, I just had this great meal at this restaurant. Come on, try it out. You know, it's basically the same kind of thing. You're just sharing something that you're excited and passionate about. And so, um, you know, looking at it that way, it really, you know, that that's how I've seen it to be. And that's how it's worked really well for me. I think also, I'll be honest, I had like this other preconceived notion. I was like, so like, how can I, um, like, I feel like I have all this education, you know, I'm like Ivy league educated. I was valedictorian in my high school class. Like, how can I just be like selling jewelry? Like I, this is, I'm being honest. Like I was like, Oh, can I just be like a jewelry salesperson? Like that, is there meaning in that? Like, is it using all of my skill set? And, um, it's so funny that like, that I thought that because the, well, first of all, I'll start with, this is super interesting that of the women in the United States that earn a six-figure income or above, 82% of those women do that through direct sales, which is like mind-boggling to me. Like this is the place to be for women who really want to be successful. Um, but the other thing that I realized was like, why did I care about that, right? Like I'm doing this. I'm having like the time of my life. I'm like so super happy. I... I have like flexible hours. I get to be there for my kids. I'm making money to support my family. Like all of it's there. And I think I just had this like notion in my mind that I had to do like, like my life had to look a certain way or I had to be doing a certain thing. And what I love is that it's really been instrumental in helping me define what success looks like for me. And basically this is what success looks like for me, all of those things. And um, so, yeah, and I love you know, I feel like every experience you have in your life leads you down the path you're supposed to be led. And so all of that background, all of my education, my, my other business and business coaching, I mean, this, I bring it all to what I do here and I get to bring joy to people, like whether it's through having them purchase beautiful jewelry or at a trunk show and getting the free hostess rewards or having someone join my team and see how they can build a business like this. I mean, like I'm bringing joy to people. Like what is a better job than that? Like what is a better use of my time, my brain, my resources than to do that in the world? Like I just, there's really nothing better. So, um, that was a concern for me. And then I also felt like I was so busy running my other business and busy with my kids, but I have time for this. And kind of, like I said before, 
because everything is so simple and there are systems and it's really just follow the systems. Um, and it's all kind of, all of that has been researched and done for you. And it's just following that. It's so simple that it really, um, it, you can be very, very efficient with your time and do this successfully. So I don't know. I just wanted to share like what was going on in my brain and what some of my concerns were um, it, it, in case it helps you. So that was kind of what was going through my mind. Um, what else do I want to say? I have some notes here because I feel like I thought I was going to forget things. But okay. So basically, at this point in the video, you're in like one of a few camps. So you are, you you may be like, awesome for you, Dana. I'm totally not interested in doing anything like this. Like, no way. But thanks for sharing your info. So great. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate that. Um, or maybe you're in the camp where like you are a little intrigued or a little interested, um, but maybe the timing is off for you right now. So maybe, maybe you just had a baby. Maybe you have a big thing going on in your family. Maybe you're in your busy season of work. So it's just not the right timing. So all I'll ask you is just like, put this in your back pocket, like noodle on it in your mind, like think about it. And, um, and like when, like when the timing might be better for you, reach out and let me know because the opportunity is always here for you um, whenever you're ready. Um, and feel free to like let me know that it's something you're interested in but not now. And then we'll just like stay in touch. Awesome. Okay, so may, or maybe you are like are interested in learning a little bit more about it. And so all I would say is just like let me know and let's have coffee or jump on the phone and like talk a little bit more about it and like feel it out and see if this is the right thing for you and your family. Um, or maybe you are like, yes, like sign me up now. This is for me. And then awesome. Like let's definitely meet for coffee and talk on the phone and, um, and, and I'll share more information with you. So that's basically what I want to say. The last thing I want to share is that if you are watching this, in the month of October 2015, um, because video is forever, so maybe you're watching this later, but in the month of October, um, we are having a sign-up special this month where when stylists sign on, they do get an extra $100 in free jewelry to help them start their display, um, which is very cool and helpful. Um, and also, this is, you know, we're just starting the holiday shopping season, so there's some really cool statistics on this that, you know, that basically stylists do 40% of their sales for the year in this time period. So this is like the time to, if you're thinking about it, like this is the time to jump in because people are holiday shopping anyway, might as well shop through you, right? And you get some benefit from it. And then there's another statistic that I thought was interesting that, let's see if I can like read my writing here. But stylists who sign on at this time of the year end up making 28% more in commissions than stylists that sign on at any other time. So again, if you're thinking of it, like this is the time, let's let's chat. Um, but yeah, but if it's not the right timing for you, no problem. Like I said, put it in your back pocket and let's like talk about it later. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, um, share a little bit about my experience. There's like so much more I could say. I could probably do like a one hour video for you about the opportunity and how great I think it is. Obviously, you know how great I think it is. Um, and so I think... Like, I just want to, like, shout it from the rooftops and tell everybody about it because I think it's awesome um, for anyone who loves jewelry, number one, and someone who just likes people. You know, you don't have to be, like, super outgoing or whatnot, but someone who generally likes to meet other people and be friendly with them and, and talk to people. Um, so if you fall into one or both of those camps, let's talk. And if not, like, just thank you for listening to this video. I appreciate just the opportunity to share a little bit about my story with you. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks, everyone.